but in French with FrenchSpanishOnline.com. But means may in French, of course you know it. But not only, and this is what we are going to see in this lesson. First, but means sauf. When you want to say, for example, no one but him can do it. Personne sauf lui peut le faire. So here in French we use the word sauf or accept. All but him, again, tout le monde, sauf lui. She does not want to talk to anyone but her brother. The same thing, elle ne veut parler à personne sauf à son frère. Here there is another difference. We need the preposition à again after the word sauf. Elle ne veut parler à personne sauf à son frère. Let's see now when but mean ne, que. He is but a child. Well, here child is related to the pronoun he. So in this case we are going to use ne, que. So he is but a child. Ce n'est qu'un enfant. As you can see, we use ce to translate he. And we don't say il n'est qu'un enfant. If you don't remember the rule how to choose ce instead of the proper subject il, here, for example, there is a lesson about that. I can't but agree with you. Je ne peux qu'être d'accord avec toi. Here again, agree is related with the subject I, so we can use ne que. Je ne peux qu'être d'accord avec toi. He is nothing but a liar. So now you know, ce n'est rien qu'un menteur. One expression, but one, but two, when you have to translate these uh, expressions in French, actually they don't exist. So to translate the last house but one, or the next to last house, the last house but one, in French we say l'avant-dernière maison. We have no translation actually to say but one. The same thing for but two, she was the last but two to finish, in French, elle était avant-avant-dernière à terminer. Elle était l'avant-avant-dernière à terminer. An expression, but for, the meaning in French is sans, without. But for his courage, many people, etc. Sans son courage, beaucoup, etc. So here, but for is sans. They would have never won but for my help. Again, il n'aurait jamais gagné sans mon aide. But for you, I would be dead. Sans vous, je serais mort. Or, sans toi, if you know the person, je serais mort. Let's see now a verb. Cannot help but. In French, well, you need to learn it actually because you can't guess. Ne pas pouvoir s'empêcher de, to translate, cannot help but. One cannot help but wonder. On ne peut s'empêcher de se demander. On ne peut s'empêcher de se demander. One cannot help but wonder. Another example. She can't help but smile. Elle ne peut s'empêcher de sourire. Elle ne peut s'empêcher de sourire. So again, if you want to translate and use this expression in French, you need to learn it by heart, actually, because it's not easy to understand the translation here. Cannot help but ne pas pouvoir s'empêcher de. That's okay. C'est fini. Thank you very much for watching the slides with me. If you want to read the script of this lesson, you can go to frenchspanishonline.com and, of course, you will find much more. Always free. Au revoir.